New rules are about to come into effect that more closely regulate drive time of over the road truckers. Attorney Jim Higgins with the Higgins firm recently stopped by to explain. Jim, welcome back to the show. Thank you. All right, so there's some new changes possibly on the way for truck drivers. Talk about what they are and why they're so important. Well, uh, truck drivers are governed by regulations which prevent them from driving for so many hours. And right now they can drive up to 82 hours in a work week. And there's a new law coming into effect. It's supposed to come into effect uh, July 1. And it's going to reel those back to 70 hours in a work week. And it also is going to require the drivers to take a 30 minute break after they drive for eight hours. Right, okay. And, and of course, the, the reason they do this is uh, driver fatigue. You know, we, we've talked about tragic accidents, and our office, of course, handles a lot of truck cases. And when you have these giant trucks out there, and a truck versus a car with a family, it, it, it's just, you know, horrible things can happen. And according to the government, about 13% of all truck accidents are related to fatigue. Mm -hmm. And so if we can cut back on those hours, then hopefully we can save a few lives and have a few less accidents. Absolutely. Keep the road safer. Now, yes. let's talk about the trucking industry's perspective. Have they mm -hmm. said anything about the new regulation? <laughs> yeah, they have a, a, a uh, lobbying group that is uh, fighting the regulation. And of course, you know, what always happens in these is there's a struggle. There's a struggle between you know, the more those trucks are on the road, the more money they can make. Uh, the faster the products get to be people, they know that there will be a financial cost to this, and there will be. And, you know, it, what in turn, though, is with that balance and what the safety regulations are trying to do is say, hey, we understand there's going to be a small financial cost, but if it makes our roads safer, we believe it's worth it. Trucking company doesn't think that. So they filed a lawsuit to stop it. Their lobbying groups are, are working to stop it. And, you know, where that's going to end up in Washington, we just don't know yet. Right. Now, what about you and your office? Have you dealt with cases like this where drive hours were an <clears throat> issue? Oh, it, it, countless times. I mean, whenever we get a truck case, what's the difference between a truck case <clears throat> and a law firm that really handles this case is like we do, is the first thing we do is we get driver logs and we get what we call Qualcomm records, which shows how long that truck has been on the road. And it is just, it's unsettling how many times we find cases where a driver has just ignored these hours or faked log books or, or a lot of times just the accident happens after he has had a long work week. And we all know if you drive for 10 hours, if you drive for 12 hours, you're not as sharp. And when you're operating a, a rig like that, it, it's, mm -hmm. it just can be volatile. Absolutely. So yes, we see a lot of it and we, we litigate these cases that all our families want to know, why did it happen? Uh, and so we try to give them those answers. And if it happened because somebody was doing something illegal, like violating these hours, then then we try to remedy that so it won't happen again. Great. Thanks for all you're doing, Jim. Thanks Thank so you. The Higgins Firm is serving Tennessee. Give them a call at 615-353-0930. You can also check them out at HigginsFirm.com.